This video is brought to you by PremiumBeat.com. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we have a very quick tutorial today because I'm actually out of town and I wanted to post something really quick. So we'll be talking about creating loopable backgrounds with After Effects and it's very easy to do this. So I'm gonna show you the techniques how to create awesome loopable backgrounds. So we'll move on to our first background technique which will be this looping circle background which is very easy to do. Let's go ahead and move over to our tutorial composition. So what we're gonna do is come here to the top and we're gonna grab the ellipse tool and click on the word fill make sure it's set to none click ok click on the word stroke set the solid color click ok and we'll come here and bring down the stroke to like 30 or something we'll look at it in a second and we'll just create a perfect circle like this hold down shift on your keyboard and then we'll control double click the pan behind tool here and then let's come here to the line tab here on the right and we'll just center this up so this is in the middle of our composition grab the selection tool and maybe we'll make this a little bit smaller okay awesome then what we want to do is come here to add and we're going to add a repeater. We'll open up repeater one and we'll come here to transform repeater one. We'll set the X position down to zero and then we'll come here to scale and we'll scale this down. And now you can see that we are able to have this right in the center. Then we can increase the number of copies. This is really where you want to kind of just increase the number of copies for a long amount of time. So 116 copies is good. You might need to increase it depending on how long your background is going to be. Okay. Then we'll come here to offset right below it and we can just bring this towards us so it's like right there that's fine and we can always increase or decrease the scale depending on how many you know how much distance we want to have between each one then we can add a keyframe for offset we move forward to the end of our animation so your animation will be 10 seconds mine's just gonna be five seconds and we'll just animate the offset to move towards us you won't be able to see it but if we play it back here's our animation and that's really cool and you just have to adjust the offset for the speed so i'll do like negative 10. so that looks really nice and good to go now we only did white and the reason why we have white is because we're going to be able to create a gradient so make sure that the circle was white and then we'll come here to layer new solid and we'll call it gradient and click ok then we'll go to effect generate and we're gonna grab gradient ramp and i spelled gradient wrong oh well and we come here to start with color select any color we want so i'll do like a color like that and then we'll come here to end of color and we'll do like a purplish blue or something awesome then we'll bring this gradient underneath our shape layer go to our shape layer make sure you toggle switch the most until you see the blend mode here and we'll set this to overlay and if we want to darken down our background we can create like another solid make sure it's black put underneath our shape layer and hit tier and keyboard for opacity and we can lower the opacity so now I can bring in a title and see how this looks on top of everything and you know that looks really nice and, and of course we can always create an adjustment layer put that underneath our title go to effect blur and sharpen and we can add like a quick you know gaussian blur you know if you want to do that repeat edge pixels and that kind of help pull things out but you know there's a lot you can do here um and this is just our first technique and this title preset that i dropped into this project really quick is from my motion graphics starter pack which is on my website we have like over 200 elements in here like 80 plus titles and over 130 uh, accent motion graphics currently in this pack so uh, if you want to check that out i will drop in a link in the description i'll show you a little bit about this later and before i show you another technique i want to say thank you to premiumbeat.com for sponsoring this video premium beat is a royalty free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects they have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video so for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty free music. So in the next technique, we're going to talk about creating this more of a rectangle linear background animation, really easy to do. So we'll come over here and we'll grab the rectangle tool. This time we'll turn the fill back on and we'll turn off the stroke. That's fine. And then we can come here and just draw out a rectangle, you know, like this, no big deal. And we'll come here to add and we'll add a repeater right away. And we'll open repeater one, go to the transform repeater one and just increase the X position. So it kind of looks like this. And I might actually make these a little bit thinner. Awesome. And then we increase the number of copies, go the way across. Awesome. Really easy. Then what we'll want to do is obviously animate the offset. So we'll add a keyframe for offset and we'll move forward here. And then we'll animate the offset to be able to do that animation. So really cool. 
And then we want to go into the transform rectangle one. We'll come here to skew. We could always skew this to like 30 and then nice. And then we'll just move this over a little bit more. Awesome. And then as before, we'll bring in like a gradient and set this to overlay. Now with our title in here from our motion graphic starter pack, we're able to be able to display information and have a really cool background. And of course, uh, you can always turn on motion blur for your background, which uh, could be a huge plus if that's really what you want to do. And with our motion blur enabled, uh, this is what we have and it looks really awesome. So for our third technique, we're going to create these loopable, you know, circle background, really easy to do. So I already have a gradient in here and we'll come here to the top and we'll grab the ellipse tool. And, you know, from the corner over here, we'll just draw out a perfect circle, hold down shift on your keyboard. Then we'll come here to add and we'll add a repeater. And we're always using a repeater for this, it's the number one tool. And we'll come here and increase the number of copies. You can change the exposition if you want. I'm just going to move this over a little bit more. Then it kind of just gets us to the top. That's cool. Then we'll close this up, click, make sure ellipse is selected, go to add and add another repeater. Uh, this time we'll go to transform repeater two, set the X position down to zero and then set down the Y position here. And there's a gap. And then we, then we can increase our number of copies to go the way across like this. Awesome. And we'll just really increase those copies. Make sure the copies are nice and high on both of them. And then simply we'll come here and transform ellipse one. We'll add a keyframe for position and we'll move forward to the end of our animation and we'll just drag our original circle kind of in whatever direction we want to go. So let's go this way. So now our circles are animating. And then as before, you know, once you have a gradient in there, set your blend mode to overlay. And once all said and done, you should have something like this with our compositing techniques and you can throw in a title. Now, now all of our titles are from our Accent Motion Graphics Starter Pack. And what's really unique about our template is that we can come into one of our regular title templates and bring one of these titles in and we can go into our composition and change our colors go back into our main composition and all make updates and then we can go into our accent motion graphics and we can bring in a number of different elements i can come into our burst folder and i can grab like a circle burst and there's that of course i can come here and change our colors real quick i can scale this element down move around our composition duplicate it and then i can just offset these in time randomly and within about a minute of time, I've been able to take one of our titles out of 80 and take one of our accent motion graphics out of 130 plus and put it in this composition and make something really unique and a lot of attention onto our title. So if you want to check out our motion graphics starter pack, it's on our website. I will drop that link in the description. And the best thing about it is we're constantly updating this so you can just get free updates as we add on to this. All right, so that's how you can easily create loopable backgrounds with After Effects. And I hope you found this video helpful or able to create awesome work because of this. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.